Okay, so what's an overnight fee? All right, so let's say you've bought your, your stock or your currency or whatever. You, you have it in your portfolio and it's there sitting there either making money or losing money for you. Hope not. Let's say you buy it today and you don't sell it today. You're going to sell it tomorrow or at some other time. Every night where you still have that in your portfolio, you get charged an overnight fee. On the weekends, there's uh, weekend fees, which are three times overnight fees. So Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. So everyone, you can see on this page again, I've gone back to the same fees page I was looking at for the spreads. Here it tells you what the overnight fee is. And you can see they're very, very small, very small. If you buy it, you get charged on that one more than if you're selling it. So, um, because it's been going up, you see. So, everyone gets charges. All exchanges charge these overnight fees uh, and these weekend fees. Um, the temptation is to uh, try and avoid fees day trading. Day traders try and avoid all these fees, uh, these overnight fees. Day trading is not really possible anymore because of algorithms. You try and day trade, you're going to lose. Unfortunately, the last seven years, algorithms have, have been so fast and so clever. Computer programs designed by people that trade automatically. Uh, there's no humans trading. The algorithms are doing the day trading now. They've completely cornered that market. So the more sensible thing is uh, medium to long term trades, you know, where something's going up over time or it's going down over time. Um, humans can still react to things which are happening in the market in that way better than the machines can so far for now so apparently that's what all the smart people are doing and I, I get that i tried day trading and don't try it as a noob i'm a noob Woo! lost a lot of money so so let's say we're trying to do medium to longer time trading so here's the thing Leverage is another thing which we have on all these exchanges and on eToro. It lets you use, uh, say you're investing $100 in Apple, you can put times two or times five or times 10 leverage, which means they lend you money. So times two would mean you've only spent $100, but it's like you're trading with 200. Times five, it's like you're trading with 500, but you've only put $100 in. Times 10, like you're trading with 1,000. Now, if you use leverage on stocks, you're gonna get charged these overnight fees on eToro and weekend fees. If you don't use leverage, you won't get charged them. Now, if you have a small amount of money, the average amount of money that a trader puts into their account, apparently a retail trader, which is what I am, not a professional trader. I'm not trained in trading and finance and economics. So I'm a retail trader, okay? 90% of retail traders lose 90% of their money in the first 90 days terrifying statistic okay they do this by doing all the things which i did in the beginning and i lost 38 percent thank god i didn't lose 90 but that's a terrifying statistic so we do this by taking out too much leverage and trying to greedily trade on the short term that's how most people lose their money you, you take out a lot of leverage let's say you take out uh times 10 leverage so you you buy a stock and uh you pay you put in a hundred dollars on that stock you take times 10 leverage it's like you're trading with a thousand or you put in 500 and you times 10 it's like 5,000 the thing is that when you first do that stocks don't always move up in a straight line they move up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down until you get used to this it can cause a lot of panic you know you think oh you open a trade and suddenly it's at the wrong place and it starts going down now what happens if you've taken out with a trade with times one leverage it may go down you know you'll be losing 30 cents maybe five minutes later you've lost 60 cents Maybe an hour later, you've lost $2.41 or something like this. If you take out a lot of leverage, um, you are going to gain or lose a lot more money. But it has an effect on you as a person. It had an effect on me. And apparently not just me, because 90% of people lose 90% of their money in 90 days. It has an effect on a lot of people. It can cause a lot of panic. Get back in there at once and sell, sell. So you open a trade, it goes against you. You're buying and it starts going down. Instead of losing that little amount of money, 30 cents, 60 cents, 241, because you didn't use leverage, you've used, you know, 10 times leverage. With currencies, you can use 100, 200 times leverage. Now, a lot of noobs try and trade currencies because you can lose a lot of, use a lot of leverage and there's the chance of making a lot of money quickly. Yay! Problem is, if it goes against you, you start seeing, you know, in five minutes, you have lost $10, $30, $40, $60, 
80, like it just boom, boom, boom. And the panic that that causes, until you get used to how the market goes, the panic, and you know what stop losses are, you know how to set, you know, that it goes below this point, you know how to judge the best place to buy and the best place to sell, which you'll always get wrong at times anyhow. But the panic that it causes when you lose a lot of leverage ends up in a system where you, you can actually just sell having made a loss. And you think, oh my God, I've just got to get out of this trade, I'm going to sell, boom, and you make a loss. And then it starts going up again. And you think, oh God, so you buy it, and you just do the same again, because then it turns down, because you're not used to how the market moves. Using a lot of leverage just can lead to situations where you're losing a lot of money very quickly, can lead to panic, can lead to you panic selling instead of holding it when you should, you know, sometimes. And, and you can just lose those chunks of money through panic selling very quickly. That can add up to your 90%. So um, anyhow, so leverage, watch out for leverage but it's very attractive. New people want to use leverage because they want to make those quick rewards. It's also the quickest way to lose all your money. So until you know, know, know what you're doing, don't do it. I mean, that's what I'm you know, trying to do. Anyhow, back to this, the overnight fees. If you buy a, a stock and you trade this longer term pattern, which is more sensible now because the algorithms, medium to long term, if you don't use leverage, you don't get charged these fees. If you do use leverage, you will get charged these fees. It's very tempting to use leverage. So let's say you've only got $1,000 in there. The, the temptation to make a trade on Apple, you want to make a trade on Apple with 10% of your money. You want to make a trade with $100, okay? It's tempting to see that times 10 button and say, yeah, I want you know, I want that times 10. It's like I'm trading with 1,000, which I'm doing at the moment. So don't get me wrong, I'm kind of doing a lot of these things. But, um, I'm aware now of how the market moves. So if it goes down a bit, I can see, don't panic, that will start going up. I can see the pattern. In the beginning, I absolutely didn't see that pattern. So I just panic sell it and keep panic selling. So um, if, you, if you want to trade with $1,000 worth of Apple and you want to do it over a long period of time, if you take out $100 and type, put times 10 leverage, True, you're trading a thousand dollars worth, but you're going to get charged these fees. If you're going to trade over a long period of time and you want to trade a thousand dollars worth, put in a thousand dollars, make a thousand dollar purchase, and use no leverage. You know, times one, um, because you won't get charged these fees. So over the long term, over a short term, these fees are nothing. They're tiny. Look at them, zero point zero zero eight. I mean, these are very small, but over a long time, they'll add up. So if you want to keep your fees down, um, they're per unit, by the way. So you buy a unit of each stock. So over a long time, that, that can add up. So that's something about overnight fees and, and weekend fees.